So who's interviewing who? Uh, or we're we just or, or, this is a discussion. We're yeah. we're gonna take a break, folks, from my usual political commentary. Talk with my friend here about music. Um, who, who, who do you think, if you had to say, what was the greatest band of all time in your opinion? Uh, that's all. There's too many great bands out there. I agree. I mean, I'm, we're probably, talking about classic rock here. I'd probably say the greatest would probably be Muddy Waters. Muddy Waters. He uh, invented rock and roll, and no one can come close to that. Well, I still got to, you know, this is, it's a separate question in my view between what the greatest band of all time would be. And what your favorite is. Oh, my favorite yeah. is. And, I, and I, you, I you kind of answered what Buddy Waters is. I, you know, the greatest of all time, I would have to say, would have to be either Chuck Berry Definitely. or uh, the Beatles. But my personal the favorite Beatles. is is The Who. No, we're talking about personal favorites, so that's a different story. Now, mine would probably be like the Moans or, you know, the, the Stooges or B.B. King or, you know, like Beethoven. You know, all great. All some of my favorite. Well, well that's an interesting list. Uh, I have a very wide you know, <coughs> list of music that I have. Yeah, I mean, my, my, most people who watch my videos don't really know my political views unless I uh, – excuse me, my – wow. Um, my musical views, unless they, they might have noticed my ACDC shirt. Uh, but I, I'm a fan of classic rock. Uh, you they totally know his political views, of course. Yeah, they, they all know my political views. Listen, I, I have, I got these uh, libertarians coming after God, me. Libertarians are hilarious. Well, they, 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 uh, they but, uh, they're, they're, they're interesting. They're, no, they're, 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 they're pretty cool. Well, some of them, I like some of their ideas. Yeah, I mean, some of their ideas are decent, I guess, but I don't yeah. agree certainly on foreign affairs. But anyway, we're not talking about politics. Right, no, we're just talking music. about music. We're not talking about um, politics, but that's not Yeah, music and politics. I mean, well, well, who, well, while we're on that topic, which band do you think was the most conservative? Oh, most conservative? Oh, well. Uh, people I know are going to freak out by telling this, but I think maybe the Misfits. The Misfits. They were all conservatives. Which is interesting because they're from New Jersey, so that's not exactly yeah, they're a conservative punk. state. And horror punk's not the most conservative style of music, but no, uh, no, I, you know, I would actually the most conservative musician would have to be Ted Nugent, John Romero. who, I don't know, because Ted Nugent, a lot of people are urging him right now to run for Congress down in uh, I think can it's Texas. Urge John Romero just because he's dead. Well, you can't, uh, yeah, but Ted Ted Nugent really is. I mean, there there are people. There's this one forum that I visit frequently that they they want him to run for Congress. Uh, in 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 a district down in Texas, I think it happens to be George W. Bush's district. Um, but and he's a, he's definitely a great. You know, I think he's a good musician. Yeah, Ted Nugent's really good. Um, what do you bet now? Let's go on to certain instruments. Who do you think's the best drummer? The best drummer would have to be one of these three: Gene Krupa, Gene Krupa, Ginger Baker, or Keith Moon. Yeah, well, my favorite. Being a Who fan, obviously, my favorite is Keith oh, Moon. Definitely, yeah. Um, Ginger Baker gave him a run for his money. Keith Moon modeled his drum set after uh, Ginger Baker's. Yeah? Yeah. Without Ginger Baker, Keith Moon wouldn't be as good as he is. Um, now, how about guitar? Best guitarist of all time would probably be Alan Holdsworth. Or, I don't know, Ron Ashton is really good despite what people thought of him. What about George Harrison? George Harrison, I think, is a good guitarist, but he's a way better uh Songwriter. I think he's often underrated, though. I think people kind of look at Paul and John, and they kind of overlook George because maybe because he was the quietest member of the band personally, but he certainly was a very just as talented musically as John and Paul, in my opinion. I think the person of the Beatles who's most underrated is the original bass player Stu Stuntcliff. Stunt, I can't pronounce his last name. Yeah, I don't remember it. Well, listen, he's pretty I, underrated. Well, because uh, most people only know Ringo, George, Paul, and John. Sometimes and, Pete Best. And, and and let's face it, your folks. Uh, you know, Ringo was at the right place at the right time. He doesn't he really. Was. He doesn't have the brain power to really do anything on his own. I mean, he did after the Beatles Octopus because Garden. people. Yeah, but people really only followed him because he was with the Beatles. However, his son. Oh, Zach Starkey's amazing. Zach Starkey's amazing. I mean, listen, nobody replaces Keith Moon, but he. Starkey does uh, a pretty good job. I mean, yeah, Starkey. I mean, I've seen. I you know when you and I saw the Who live oh, that was back in '08. Show. That was that was a great show. But uh, Starkey was on was on drums, and that was just uh, crazy. He took on Keith Moon near the end of the last song that I saw. Yeah, but, I, you know, I still wish that I could go back in a time machine in 1974 and go see, or, you know, uh, go, go see Keith Moon live. Actually, did you stay for the... Well, he died in 78, but... Did you stay for the last encore of that nah, show? No, I left. And they did uh, Team Theater? 
No. Uh, same here. I left. Uh, yeah, I left after, um, oh, I forgot. I think it was uh, Pinball Wizard. I stayed a bit after that. I heard Sparks and a couple of the really songs, but I, I just got out of there when they did the tea theater. Because I don't want to see an old guy drinking tea, talking about the theater on stage. So, so not, not what is songs. your favorite rock song of all time? I've never thought about that, actually. Really? Mine's, I'm, uh, I'm totally surprised about that. Again, being a Who fan, mine is Bob O'Reilly, because I think... Uh, I just think it's the ultimate rock song. It's a good anthem, really. I, I think, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I just, I, I take comfort in it. Um, you know, I'm not into Eastern religions, but I just happen to like the beat of the song. I, I'm the type of person that can separate my political views from my, you know, what I like in music based on the beat. Like, for instance, The Clash released a song in their first album called I'm So Bored with the USA, which I have as a which is obviously, it slightly bashes the United States, but it really, I heard from sources that it's meant to really uh, put That's down surfing the, the surfing scene in the USA. But no matter how you look at it, it, it sort of does put down the USA, but I think it's one of their best songs, not because of the message, but because of the beat and the, the rhythm to it. Right now, my favorite song is Shut Down by the Beach Boys. Yeah? Yeah. Beach Boys, again, they're a great, you know, they uh, Even today, they're still a good thing. Great. Well, you and I saw them, uh, yeah, I what, last summer? Yeah, last summer we that saw. That with that crazy chick. Yeah, um, yeah. Not even any names here. Yeah. Okay. Um, she watches this. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they were. I, I mean, they were great. And, and believe it or not, and the thing that really surprised me, there were plenty of people in their 60s and 70s. Who there were also there. like four and five. But there were, there were, there were, there were I mean, there were people like you know, we, we saw years one old. couple people that were probably about 28, 30 ish. There were kids half our age there. I, we were there. We, you know, we're. I'm just know, 16. Yeah, I mean, we we were there. I'm, I'm 17. We were there, and uh, you know, we weren't the youngest people there, but you know, we there were a lot of people the around our age. There. We certainly weren't the oldest there. And it just shows you that type of music is timeless. And, oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it would have been nice to see Brian Wilson with them, but Mike wouldn't Love it be nice? Was, yeah. <laughs> nah, but seriously, after all these years, though. Michael Love still has the exact same voice. I know. That he he's, had. He's, he's an amazing singer. He's, he's one of my favorites right now. He's, uh, he, and, and they really, I know this may cause, you know, they, they're really a great band. They're yeah. classic. And, I don't uh, care if you that. They're good. They're a great surf band, too. Who? Real, Beach Boys. They're an awesome surf oh, band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the really stuff. Oh, they're great. Um, so, what do you think about, um, who do you think was the pioneer of metal music? Oh, metal music? Probably the MC5. Because they had bear rawness. Which no band, until I guess really, not even Black Sabbath could copy them, really. Yep. Black Sabbath took it I, up a step, but the MC5 just started it all. I, I'd have to go with Black Sabbath, uh, but, but I'm sure you, you probably know more about that than I do. But uh, plus, maybe that's because, you know, Black Sabbath's also my favorite metal band. I'm not a huge metal fan, but I like some. I like some metal today, like Men's Sevenfold or, you know, no. I don't know Trivium. Trivium? Trivium is good. They're awesome live. Yeah. There's some of the friend dude. Now, there are people who I know that like hard rock like I do and like well you like everything. I like, I like pretty much everything. Like everything. I like Even hard rock. Ref. Not uh, ref. But, well but I know people who, who want who seek more meaning in songs. And this Those person songs. This person likes Simon and Garfunkel. As they're also they're band. amazing band. They're, they're, they're excellent. Seven uh, Sons is the greatest they, song ever song, written. It's uh, they. If you're looking for meaning in music, I mean, you have Bob Dylan, Elton John, Folk but, music but in certainly Simon and Garfunkel. Um, let's talk about rap for a minute. Uh, Good rap, rap. rap. See, in my opinion, let me tell you what I think of rap. I I don't think rap is technically music. I think it's, it's not music. I don't consider Not since it. Not the 90s, it wasn't music. You know, I, I consider it an excuse for art. It's kind of like. Uh, it's poetry with a beat, but it's, it's kind of like good. Botox, in my opinion. It's not real. Mm. Um, well, it depends what we're talking about. 90s rap is actual music. New rap is just fake synthesizers. I'm totally against synthesizers. So, what, what band do you think that is around today should be better recognized? Inward Eye. I Either Inward Eye or Upper Foot. I go Wolf Mother. I mean, they're... They're, they're, they're actually pretty known. They're Led Zeppelin. Yeah, not... Eh, sort of. Dude, I see the records all over the place now. Yeah, but that... I don't see anything by Inward Eye anywhere except on iTunes. Check them out. They're amazing. Yeah. And they're not Clash Wannabes. Don't listen to about that. Well, I, I only saw them once and they were Clash Wannabes. Uh... Live they were, but... Live they were, but... In the studio they're way, way better. All right, and that is it yeah, for us.